Hello, Rohan Bajar here. Uh, as you might know, or as you might not know, uh, Riot Games has announced their own card game, Legends of Rune Terra. The game is in uh, a very closed alpha stage right now, so uh, only uh, select streamers, including moi, uh, have access to it. But you can register at Playroom. Uh, playroomterra.com or something like that you can find it easily so i want to do give you a quick introduction to the game so this is the main menu uh, there's the home there's a play as you can guess you can play versus ai versus a player or you can play the tutorials here there are quite a bit of tutorials to get used to it so you can view your collection here uh, here are the decks here are the cards uh, the rarities are divided into four there are the common cards which are denoted with a green gem like this instead of the hearthstone white and the rares are blue the epics are purple and the legendary rarity is renamed champion here I couldn't find an epic one here there's the epic and the champions are legendary and a deck has to consist of 40 cards it can have up to uh, six champions uh, you cannot put more than three copies of a single card but the champions do not have a special restriction so you can put uh, three of each uh, two two champions with three copies of each or three champions with two copies of each or you can just put uh, one of each blah blah so there are six regions there's the Masia, Freljord, Ionia, Noxus, Piltover and Zone and the Shallow Isles they all have a different uh, synergy they all have a different flavor and in your decks you can combine two regions uh, since there is no color problem or something it's wise to combine two colors guys I mean making a mono deck uh, does not provide additional benefit because as you can imagine all of the regions have some strengths and all of the regions have some weaknesses so by combining two you can probably get rid of the weaknesses of one and focus on the strengths of another so each region has four champions i think four eight four eight 12 16 20 24 yeah 24 champions here so uh, and since there are six regions uh, you, each uh, region has up to four uh, champions and so the crafting you can see here guys the crafting is resembles uh, magic arenas crafting mode so you cannot just uh, click on the item and just destroy it unless you have less than three copies of a card you have to keep them uh, you cannot just choose to disenchant it and you can earn wild cards like this uh, to craft stuff so for example common wild cards can be turned into any common card that you prefer for example I can uh, craft a uh, caustic casks spending one common wild card here or I can use the shards here the shards do not MS a lot as you can see uh, and there are the rare uh, wild cards the epic wild cards and the champion wild cards uh, by the way this amount is quite a lot I think I was awarded some extra wild cards by riot uh, so I could make whichever deck I prefer I don't think they give this much to a newly starting player which would be a little bit ridiculous if you ask me because this is quite a lot so then there's the rewards uh, as you keep earning uh, as you level up as you can see here guys I leveled a bit by playing the uh, by playing the tutorials and a few games against the AI and I think I played a game or two against the players as well and here's the store you can buy stuff here there's a bundle 
these coins they can be obtained for money uh, and these coins yeah like i said they are the premium currency and this shows my purchase so let me play a game against the ai play this one is bad let's play this one so considering there are six regions to choose from and you can combine two there are 15 combinations uh, there are 15 region combinations so the mulliganing style is similar to hearthstone as you can see here we do not want this we do not want this we maybe want this okay i will make another video for the keywords and the card types but let me just play an example game here okay so the turns are uh, split guys as you can see i have an attack token here that means i am the one who's attacking uh, so only one person attacks and the other person defends and all minions or all uh, units uh, are defended by the uh, units opposite to them in the combat zone so for example i have one mana now i play the helpless aristocrat this is similar to the mekaru or villager blah blah oh it's timo okay it's a hero so uh, nexus strike means guys our avatar is not the hero this time but the nexus is, of course as uh, expected from a league of legends game the nexus has 20 hp it cannot go over 20 hp uh, and nexus strike means hitting uh, your opponent's nexus so whenever this guy hits me he plants some stuff in my deck that deals me damage when i draw them so and as you can see timo is elusive he's a very annoying guy like in the game itself even i know even though i have a very limited league of legends experience so this means it cannot be blocked by units except for elusive so i'm gonna attack because i'm not able to block it so this is the attack zone now and now my opponent will be given the option to block or not he chose to not block and we did one damage and now the attack token passes to him we each go up to two mana okay so support means uh, supporting units support the units to their right so this uh, if he attacks let's see if he attacks or let me see if i play something here so that's a huge difference from hearthstone guys there are the regular spells like these uh, in hearthstone these are slow spells these are like hearthstone spells however these can be used uh, during combat and there is the even faster version uh, that doesn't even allow your opponent to respond even so we will deal one damage and summon a spiderling well let me allow to attack him first okay so he, this gives him life steal okay i'm gonna do this the reason i'm not doing this is guys this says drain so this will deal damage to it and heal me and since my hp is full the heal will go to waste so i don't want to waste the heal so i'm gonna do it since it's elusive i cannot block it now my opponent is given the option to do something he doesn't hopefully it's dead and i took two damage to my face now we will see a different uh, feature as you can see i grew up three mana but i also have one special mana this means uh, this mana accrues only when you don't use some mana uh, and the leftover mana up to three leftover mana is transferred to this sp special pool this pool can only be used for spells so if i had one more spell mana i could have played the brood awakening but not the arachnoid host because that's a unit 
and units are split into two followers these are the regular monsters on the board here and champions like Timo we just killed so let me see we cannot play this we cannot play this we cannot play this we can play this but there's no point oh well there is a point actually I can attack he will probably block me because it's beneficial for him now let's do this one damage and a spider oh he has something as well that's very bad oh he bounced it back into his hand okay and so the problem is uh, since my spell didn't find anything to drain from i am denied the spider and the drain so i lost one life I, and all my uh, unit was also count uh, did also count as blocked okay i'm gonna skip here i will block these if he attacks okay okay that guy is back so i can do this now i actually have only four mana but guys i have two spell mana so and of course the spell mana gets spent first that guy gives a spiderling hmm. so i'm thinking of maybe blocking first no 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 need right i will do this let's see if he does something he doesn't okay he can attack now i don't care i have the yeah okay well we have the advantageous blocks guys so guys this block is pointless right why would i trade my 2-1 into his 1-1 there's no need okay i think i'm gonna do it and his life steal is gonna go to waste because he's already 19 so the three life steal will only affect one here okay i will receive the turn five mana now and i will also have one spell mana which means i cannot sadly play darius okay i have six mana here i'm gonna do it so oh that's an annoying one and guys you cannot block a minion with two minions you cannot block a unit with two units you can only block with one or zero i mean you can let it in or you have you have to block with a single minion i mean you cannot make a double block or triple block that's not allowed so next turn i think we can do this while more while more is pretty decent six minus six six fearsome and fearsome means only monsters with three or more attack can block it i'm gonna say go yeah i mean that's a annoying minion for us kill an ally to draw two that's good so that's the uh, fastest thing guys that's burst your opponent doesn't even have a chance to respond so i kill this one and he cannot kill that one in response this just happens immediately okay so i have seven mana now i can go for fresh offerings or i can go for this which is pretty decent right all of the mother spiders and they will all receive plus two attack i'm gonna do it it's pretty decent i mean i have a huge attack right now that's elusive i cannot do anything okay come on chop chop well i do not have anything against that guy right my turn now okay well, now we will be doing a lot of damage oh that's decent double damage to the nexus okay so we have um, we have the maximum number of allowed minions here that's not very nice so uh, you have to do just one attack during a turn guys so you cannot just do this i will attack with this four one deal four damage okay you did not block i will attack with another four one that doesn't happen here you have to attack with everything 
at all at once. I mean, I can't just attack with these two or these three or these four or all in, but I have the chance to attack only once unless there's something special. So what happens if I go all in here? He will block the 4-1 with the 2-5. Oh, that's not very good though. These are not very nice. I mean, he has very uh, advantageous blocks, right? I mean, the 4-1 will get blocked by this one. The 4-1 will get blocked by this one here. And 5-1 will get blocked here. And I am only pushing in 9 damage. Still, we can use the fresh offerings, I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna go all in. Maybe I should do this before attacking. I mean, to deny him a blocker. Just for that cause. I'll just go all in. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Oh, and he has something. Heal anything three okay that doesn't mean anything but well guys uh, according to my limited experience the ai didn't fail like this before i mean this was just a fail right he healed anything three and he didn't actually receive any heals out of it so he's taking 13 damage face here i'm okay so now we will be quite a nightmare for him. Fresh offerings will work. Yeah, I think we win this easy. Spider synergy was nice. As you can see, we have a 6 6 fearsome now, and that fearsome can only block by this one because uh, the fearsomes require at least 3 attack to be blocked. And now I will play Darius, and since the condition is met, Darius will immediately level up. I think it was a tan fight. Yeah, it's pretty horrible, guys. 10-5 Overwhelm. And Overwhelm means, uh, as you can imagine, uh, it deals the uh, leftover damage to your opponent's face. Uh, it's like trample in magic. But the thing is, guys, it's especially powerful because minions can only be blocked by a single minion and not anymore. So, when I attack with this, the most my opponent has to offer is two health this means i will have eight damage face 100 percent of course uh, on the condition that he doesn't do anything or something like that so let me see do i play anything i can play this one i suppose let's do it what now oh he's attacking oh there he's gonna give that life steal all right all right well I don't have five mana, I can't do it. Okay, I have an idea actually. Okay. That goes here. He's 12, uh, even if I allow him to lifesteal, right? Okay, I will allow you to lifesteal. I actually have a, a 200 IQ idea, guys. I mean, I'm joking only. It's not that big of a thing, but I think it's a good idea. I wanna show you. Hopefully it will work. So am I given access to abilities after blocking? So the block is done like this. So what I'm thinking is guys, since his mini, his uh, unit is lifesteal, if I block him and then I sacrifice this guy to draw cards, he will not be able to do damage. Therefore he will not steal in life. I mean, I have lethal uh, when I'm attacking anyway, but I mean, I want to see if this works, so let's try it. I will kill this ally. I will draw two. Let's see if my idea works. I think I did not block here. I'm not very sure. Oh, no, I did not block. I should have clicked block. Shame. So, and as you can imagine, as you can see, guys, I have Darius here, and I actually drew another Darius. And since I cannot have two Dariuses on board, it changes into a signature spell, 
which allows me to deal four, four damage to my enemies Nexus and uh, Shuffle Adarius in my deck. So let's just do this. Oh, no pulled up. Where's my axe? Okay, he doesn't do anything else. Okay, the damage is permanent. As you can see, there's no healing unless you heal yourself. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to go all in, and he's dead. Okay, ready. And as you can see, now that I'm attacking, I'm I'm not able to use slow spells, guys. Okay. Well, he will block the 10 fire. I will be doing six, 14, 17, 20, 25, 31 damage to his nexus. Because this deals double damage to the Nexus. I tried the blocking ability once. Uh, I think it didn't give me any more chance. So, oh. okay, that quest is done. And see, we get progress. And we get progress to the vault. And the vaults unlock on Friday. Uh, there is a cap to the vault. So that's about it, guys. Uh, it's a nice game. I mean, for now, uh, I liked it. There are quite a few mechanics gathered together, uh, mashed together from uh, quite a few games, but they have managed to do it successfully. I mean, uh, it doesn't feel weird. It kind of gives you a League of Legends feeling, but not too much uh, like uh, Artifact because, as you know, that game failed hugely. This game will be free to play. Uh, it will have support in uh, a lot of languages. Uh, so far, it's in... Uh, an alpha stage probably I mean it's not open access but you can register and they will hand keys out uh, slowly but I think this uh, session will last for a few days and they will close the server then and they will update it I think one month later the closed beta will start I think so I'm not 100% the timetable can of course as you know vary uh, depending on how the uh, coding programming blah blah goes so that's about it guys uh, a quick introduction uh, I will make another video for all the concepts the keywords uh, the turn structures blah blah everything see you then bye bye